This is a short video explaining what selection curves are and why they are used in fishery science. So, we know that selection is any process that results in differences in the probability of a fish being captured, and that selectivity is the expression of this as a numerical probability. Therefore, it follows that a selection curve is a graphical representation of this probability. This is a typical selection curve for a gillnet fishery. Each mesh size has an optimum size of fish that it catches. Note that for gears based on meshes, so not things like long lines, selectivity should be expressed as fish girth, since that's typically the factor which determines if the fish is trapped or not. However, due to variation in stomach contents, maturity of gonads and body compressibility, there is often high variance in girth measurements for a given length. Since there is comparatively lower variance in length measurements for the same girth, and that length is easier to measure, length measurements are typically used instead. This is a typical selection curve for a trawl fishery. Note that after a certain mesh size, all fish are retained as they cannot escape the net. Another name for these selection curves is contact selection curves, as they are based on the probability of capture given a fish has contacted the gear. It's important to note that these selection curves are independent of the population, since it's just a probability of catching the fish. Depending on the methods used to estimate these selectivity curves, there are inherent assumptions and sources of error, but I'll go over these in another video. Selection curves are important, as the use of any fishing gear introduces some degree of bias into the fish stock assessment, due to the different availabilities of different species, sizes or ages of fish to the gear. It's also important to inform fisheries managers on the selectivity of commercial gear types. Therefore, by understanding the selectivity of different gears, we can improve stock assessment and provide better advice to fisheries managers. To summarise, a selection curve is independent of the population and is a graphical representation of the probability of a fish of a given length being captured by a specific fishing gear.